what's up guys welcome to another video so today we are cooking we are doing a really speedy type of cooking video or not speedy but i'm trying to cook in bulk because obviously i'm a new mom uh i have a one month old newborn i can't believe he's one month old it's so crazy you guys know i used to be in the kitchen all the time um i love cooking but obviously that's just not the case now with a newborn when i do find time to go in the kitchen it needs to be as productive as possible so i like to spend like a good chunk of time when he's sleeping to kind of prepare meals for breakfast lunch dinner just whatever i can to make it rot so for today we are using HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal subscription service. If you guys haven't heard of them, I've gotten them so many times. All the meals that I've had so far have been so flavorful, easy to make. They actually just give you these cards that always have six steps. I mean, it's six easy steps. Of course, it's easier to keep things versatile. I don't have any time to go to the grocery store either. I mean, with COVID and everything, it's not even just it's not like the safest idea so meal subscription is the mvp i think this really is a good time to actually have it or experiment with it so i'm giving you guys a discount code it is bahashi Missouri 60 and that will give you 60 dollars off your first order and free shipping if you're in the us the code and everything will be down below same with the website if you guys want to check them out they have menus that they rotate every single week so you guys can check out what type of food that they have you guys know i'm mostly plant-based so i do have a plant-based recipe here um i do also have fish and chicken i usually eat chicken and fish occasionally so i'm just gonna supplement what i make here with hello fresh and kind of add in my own plant-based um stuff to it as well so that you know you know we stay healthy and everything so obviously most people would maybe make one meal every single day or every other day because there are three of them but i'm gonna be making them all today so i'm excited and yeah let's actually get into it okay so i already have all this stuff out of the box uh, my husband threw the box away i would have showed you guys but yeah it was just taking a lot of space in the kitchen these are the meats that come with the recipe first of all i love that it says the chicken is raised without antibiotics because that's a big one antibiotics are definitely a no-no so yeah it basically came with two meats and they had a layer of ice on top of it just to keep it cool of course when it's shipping and then they have three of these um so this is a chicken katsu sweet potato fajitas and what is this oh blackened barramundi and pineapple salsa and it says make first which is awesome um yeah i've never seen that before but that's cool so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the blackened barramundi i don't know if i'm saying it right too barramundi barramundi i don't know but we're gonna start with that um it doesn't really matter actually because i'm cooking everything but um I think what I'm gonna do to make everything easier is just prep first. Um, I think with meal prepping, it can get really overwhelming. So I'm just gonna cut everything for every single dish and then just go ahead and just start sauteing or frying whatever needs to be fried. It's kind of like being strategic about things. Yo, when you only have two hours for until your newborn wakes up, I mean, you're gonna do whatever. <laughs> Let me start with um, prepping all these ingredients. Everything that was in the package is the exact amount that you need to use in the recipe, which is great. It helps with wasting and stuff, which is awesome. But they have all the veggies. I kind of put them individually into three different plates. So I looked through all the recipe cards and I saw that they have these two rices, which is awesome. I'm just gonna make double the batch. And then there's sweet potato, which I know takes a really long time. So we're gonna do the rice and the sweet potatoes at the same time and then we're gonna move on to prepping the rest of the ingredients while everything is cooking.
Everything is pretty much assembled or prepped. This is all the stuff that's needed. Everything else was already made. By the way, my table is a hot mess, but I'm talking about specifically the fish and the chicken. That's the only thing that I have to cook. But pretty much everything is done, and then I just have to assemble all the dishes, which I don't know if I will because it's all prepped and I'll assemble the day I eat them. But we're gonna try all three dishes. So that is the deal, Leo. And we have a little guest fussing around. He woke up, so I brought him in the kitchen and he's on his bouncer. I'm just gonna finish the rest of the chicken and the fish and then assemble everything. We're gonna do a taste test. Yeah, let's get into it. We're gonna finish up everything else and then we shall be good to go. only did this because of the tasting they all look really good like it was actually fairly easy because a lot of it was already pre-prepped so um, yeah I mean you know how when you cook you just like don't get hungry anymore so I'm kind of in that phase or stage but um, so you're gonna hear him in the back he's with his dad right now I don't know what they're doing these all look really good so we'll just before everything gets cold, I'm just gonna eat these. Mm. Whoa, flavors are on point. Touch and these pickled jalapenos 
I would have never gone that extra step, but I can see why they added it because it made such a mm, really good. And then this is the chicken katsu with pickled or something cucumber. Let me see. Oh, sesame dress cucumber. really good like I'm, I'm just like huh like every single time they really do nail it and I thought it was just dishes but like yeah I mean katsu I've never eaten anything like this before it's very like Korean-y I don't know if it's Korean but it is Asian so good though okay if you hear the fan it's because the AC is on we're gonna do one more tasting like super quick then the last one is blackened barundi I really don't know how to say it, but I'm kind of whole salsa. I'm not really a fruity salsa person, so I'm very curious about this. Um, so yeah, let's do this real quick, and then I'm gonna go and feed my baby. Um, ooh, fish is flaky and perfect. Sweet. Mmm, very nice. These all taste so like hearty to me, like very very comforting. My bad for talking with my mouth open. That's so rude. Well, these are all really good. I think I think if I had to pick any that was super super good, is the sweet potato fajitas. I think I saw that they were um, one of the most loved out of all the recipes, and that's one thing I really loved about their um, whole overall experience is that they show you people's most loved recipes i think there's a hall of fame too that one might have been on there i think it's like super good all the flavors in there are just it's a really good taco um and yeah i think i like that one and then the chicken and then the fish just because i'm still a little like iffy on the fruit salsa but this was really good anyway that is it for all the recipes i hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget that I have a code for you guys if you want to try it. I'm sure the first box will be about $20, so I want you guys to experience it too. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm like getting super exhausted. I usually do around this time because, you know, waking up in the middle of the night is <laughs> obviously is going to be a thing for a while. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you do try HelloFresh, let me know. I would love to hear what you guys think. So yeah, I'm just going to end up eating this later. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.